Now, 2010, towards the end, I, I got my report and I passed very well uh, because I was quite bright. You know, I, I passed very well. Then, um, 2011, going to grade 11 now. You know, I'm going to grade 11. Now, during the progress of 2010, I was starting to play soccer. You know, I was starting to play soccer uh, at the at, at my grandmother's place, just around that side. You know, then 2011, uh, I was I was falling in love with playing soccer. You know, that's when I started watching PSL, your know, Barcelona. So I had these big dreams that one day I might be a soccer player. You know, so. 2011, uh, I sat down with my parents and they told me that I, I can do better than what I did the previous year when it comes to my studies, you know, I, I can do better than that. And we agreed and then they reassured me or they reminded me that I should forget about being a DJ at all. And then we had a deal, you know, uh, we had a deal at the time. Keep in mind, 2011, I'm still staying in a shack. Now, 2011, I went to grade 11. Now, maturity is starting now. I would say slowly, slowly, I'm starting to mature. You know, 2011, uh, I'm, I'm focused on my, my, my books. Now, here's the thing. Currently, right now, uh, I'm a shareholder of uh, my company, which is called Mutlani Traders right i'm a shareholder that company mutant traders started in 2011 you know now what i'm trying to say Kohore, your dreams don't just start today the dreams that you might have started a long time ago you know so mutant traders started in 2011 so 2011 i i was with this guy uh he's quite intelligent you know those intelligent guys in school they don't talk to anybody they are not open about anything they are not interested in dating they are always on their books so luckily i was able to connect with that guy so this guy he was always filling in ideas in my head always filling in ideas in my head you know uh, let's do this type of business let's do this you know so that's how mutant traders started i only made it a reality in 2017 it started in 2011 and i only made it a, a reality in 2017 yes uh because yeah now during the course of grade uh, 11 in 2011 uh, i was playing soccer so at the soccer when i was playing soccer very very i was i was i was scoring goals constantly you know and whenever I would touch the ball, uh, girls would scream like, coach, coach. So that's how the coach name started. It actually started when I was playing soccer, just around 2011, uh, just somewhere around there, you know. So it started there. They started uh, calling me coach. So many people think that I'm coach now because of Forex. Let me reassure you, Forex is something that I started just a few years back. It was never part of my life. I didn't know anything about trading. Let's just understand. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys this, this lifetime story so that you can understand. Ne? Sharp. So, uh, around that time, when I was playing soccer, Vela, they started calling me coach, coach. One thing led to another, Vela, I was coach, right? Now, uh, 2011, I started uh, bonding. I was started bonding with this beautiful lady uh, whom I was uh, studying with, you know. I started bonding with her. You know, bonding is very, very dangerous, you know. Like spending time with a female is very, very dangerous because you end up developing feelings for one another without being aware, you know. Now, I started bonding with her i started bonding with her we were studying together helping each other with assignments and so forth it was nice you know life went on in 2011 uh, i was still staying in a shack come year end 2011 uh, i passed my grade 11 again 
uh, very nicely alongside my best friend he has always been there now 2012 uh, i was still staying in a shack now 2012 i was doing my matric and my parents asked me what is it that i want to become you know and honestly speaking i just chose commercial stream because it was less difficult compared to how people were comparing it with the science stream you know i didn't really know what i wanted to become so i sat down with my parents and they helped me choose a career you know and i saw a couple of careers economists accountants and so forth so every time i would be interested in a career i would actually google the salary scale i was more interested in the salary scale not the process of getting uh, to wherever that I, that I needed to to yeah you understand so 2011 vele i mean 2012 metric now now i'm doing metric uh, you know what i'm still a virgin by the way but at least i've kissed a girl before i know how it feels like now i'm i'm, I'm maturing slowly and my parents asked me to stop playing soccer they asked me to stop playing soccer because soccer was taking most of my time like during the progress of 2011 i was always at the field and all that so they asked me to stop playing soccer and i did and during march i applied for tut i actually didn't bother applying to uj vets or anything because i was the way i was thinking about those facilities they were meant for intelligent people that's the idea that i had and then tut is meant for everyone you know how people feel about tut like everyone can get in in in, in tut so i applied for tut and yeah so early early 2012 the girl that i was bonding with the previous year i started falling in love with her right now my fear was that what if the feeling is not mutual now i want you guys to understand something in order for a person to be successful sometimes there needs to be something that drives the person beyond their limits you understand so the reason why i'm concentrating more of how my love life was is because relationships they are the reason why i'm here today i got successful because i wanted to get back at some people you know because they've proven it to me that i'm nothing so i wanted success so bad that i would literally do each and anything each and or anything which is possible i would do it you know so that's why i'm focusing more on that school it played a role yes but it has nothing to do with 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 how i got to make it maybe i would take school as as a, a platform whereby you meet your future business partners and so forth but school never really played a huge role when it comes to my success relationships did now the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because i want you guys to understand the one thing that hurts you the most sometimes is the only thing that you need for you to push beyond your limits because if you're comfortable you can't push beyond certain limits i don't know if i'm making sense that's why the chess boys they 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 never really make it on their own because they are always comfortable but the more you get hurt is the more you have a reason to get out of poverty i don't understand a person who gives up in life yet still they are inside poverty poverty should be the reason why you want to get out of poverty you understand so yeah so now my my my, my key point in success basically it's it's it was relationships so that's why i'm focusing more on that so don't don't miss don't misinterpret my story your english yeah now going on so me and this girl we i started falling in love with her and i didn't tell her about it and whenever whenever i would see her talking to another guy innocent talk i would get mad you know i would get jealous and so forth it's normal it's love only to find out Hori, she was actually feeling the same way about me but she was scared to tell me because honestly speaking at that time we were the opposite of one another 
like i was this guy short guy who literally has nothing and she on the other hand she was a beautiful tall lady who would literally get a better boyfriend than me you understand so it was quite difficult for me to tell her about how i feel and vice versa for her but this other time when we were because every day after school we would go home together you know this other time i just decided to talk to her about it and funny enough she felt the same way so it's more like we confessed like we confessed like on one another how we feel about one another and so forth you know and when i was kissing her for the first time she was taller than me i had to step on a stone you know i had to step on a stone so that i can meet her standards you know so that i can kiss her and it was nothing that i've ever felt in a like i would say it was for the first time feeling that way guys do you know love eh you guys don't know love eh? do, do you know love like loving a person but not having a reason for loving them the truth is right now you think you love me but you don't really love me you just love what i've done for myself you just love the idea i could literally go on a live and say uh hey guys i'm thinking of buying a car which car should i buy and you're suggesting buy a g63 buy i8 buy what what and then the following day i go buy it you just love the idea that I'm, I've, I've done well for myself. You understand? That's why you are here today. You love what I've done for myself. But had you met the me before coach, the Hopoto before coach, if I was live, nobody was going to be watching right now. That's just the truth. It's nothing personal. And going forward with my stories, I will, I will, I will get to that point uh, so that you can understand what I've been through and how I got into Forex and how I got to make it in Forex. It was not a game, people. I see people every day saying, uh, Coach, I've blown two accounts. Uh, I feel like giving up. I just look at them and I'm like, you guys have no idea. <laughs> you guys have no idea. So, very, very, I was in love, guys. Like, nothing could tear us apart. And we decided, we did one thing which was good, which is to keep it private. We kept our relationship private for, for a few months, I think. That was in 2012 when we were both doing my trick, you know. Kept the relationship private. It was lovely, guys. It was lovely, right? She was the first lady that I thought I wouldn't live without. So you guys, you must destroy this mentality or you can't live without certain people. That's nonsense. You are born alone. You're probably going to die alone. Go to heaven alone or hell alone. I guess they say it's heaven or hell. Let now I don't know where I'm going to go. So I will sing. So you guys must... I know it's not easy to tell a person that you can live without this person. You know? But let now I had to know the truth that I can live without this person through life on its own. You know, you just must, you just, you, you must just be a fighter internally. You, you must just be a fighter. So our love was lovely. Our love was lovely. Listen to the line. Our love was lovely. Now, when the news got public, it was all over school, you know, that Hopoto is dating this girl. Hopoto is dating. It was lovely, guys. Yo, Yazini. Uh, yeah now towards year end vele we were writing our exams and at that time uh my father my father already started trying to build a small house for us because 2012 i was still staying in a shack Robin. yeah she he tried doing something for us now after july 2012 uh july approaching august then me and her, we had that agreement that you look, baby girl, next year I'm going to be going to varsity, right? You're going to be going to varsity too, right? And I don't want to go to varsity still being a virgin. I mean, I've been trying to get laid ever since from like 2010. 
but my dick would sleep whenever I'm supposed to get laid, you know, and so forth. So I want to get laid. I want to lose my virginity. You understand? So how, how do you feel about that? She was a virgin at that time. And she said, you know what? Actually, I was thinking about it. I want to lose my virginity too. I was just waiting for the right guy, right? I was waiting for the right guy. And I was that the right guy at that time. You know life. You see, this virginity thing was a big deal back in the days. It was a big deal choosing who breaks your virginity. But now it's like you just write the WhatsApp status. You're like, guys, I'm still a virgin. Who wants to break me? And then we come in and say, me, me, me. Then you choose who breaks you. Even if it's a stranger, then they break you and then you move on. It's no longer a big deal at that uh, nowadays. The way I see things compared to back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Now, now the time has come. Now the girl says, I want to try it, right? But I heard it's painful. So please be gentle with me because I don't know anything. So at first, I told her that, you know what? Don't worry. I've, I've, I've seen people do this before. You know, don't worry. I, I, I know what I'm doing. But the truth was that I didn't know anything, you know? She knew that I was a virgin, but I told her that my friend lost his virginity. He told me the whole experience. I know what I'm doing, baby girl. Trust me, you know. And then she said, okay, let's set a date. Now, at school, there was this fence behind the school almost. There was this fence which was a little bit broken, I'd say, if that's the right word. So we agreed her we're going to run away. During break, we're going to run away, literally from school, metric, to get laid. Who didn't run away to get laid? Back in the days, I mean, like, you know, it was a big deal. Now, uh, the time came, and then we, 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 we ran away from school. But now, here's the problem. When we were going to my place, then it's now that it clocks that fuck i'm still staying in a shack and i was like shit should i tell her that i'm staying in a shack or should i just surprise her with a shack because obviously her house was nice and then now i'm staying in a shack i'm like if i tell her that i stay in a shack what if she changes her mind you know but i'm like you know what it's fine she loves me for who i am I would say at that time she has proven it that she she loves me for who she loved me for who I was, you know. Because uh, at my street there was a couple of RDPs, right? There was a couple of RDPs and then there was two shacks. That was the shack next door and my shack. And then next door there was a big house. So when we were at my street, I'm telling her, Hore, this is my street. And then I can see her, she's smiling, looking at the big house. And in my heart, I'm like, yo, girl, if only you knew that we are going to go to that shack, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you'd be disappointed. But I'm not saying anything. So when we got there, I just opened the gate. And then now she can see that, fuck, it's a shack. But she didn't make, she didn't do anything to make me feel small because it was not up to me growing under those conditions and all that, you know. And Lena, she knows that. So we got in the shack. Hey, people, the shack was very hot. Hey, the shack was very hot. Yes, sir. You see, a shack, when it's hot, it's hot. When it's cold, it's cold. Hey, it was very hot at that time. And at that time.